I'm Megan for The Developer Show. This is your weekly update on the coolest developer news from Google. We're pleased to announce Flutter version 1.12, the latest stable Flutter release. This release includes a visual refresh to support iOS 13 that includes completed implementation of dark mode, new Cupertino widgets, several UX tweets, and a greatly enhanced add to app experience. The announcement came last week at Flutter Interact, an event showcasing the power of Flutter to create beautiful apps. Developer advocate Emily Fortuna was there in New York to bring us our Dev Show Top 5, which you can watch for a recap of all the top announcements from the event. Of course, everything we do in Flutter is based on Dart, which also announced the stable release of Dart 2.7 SDK. Dart 2.7 adds a long-requested, powerful new language feature, extension methods. These enable you to add new functionality to any type, even types you don't control and have the brevity and autocomplete experience of regular method calls. Dart 2.7 also adds a package for handling strings with special characters, a brand new null safety playground experience in DartPad, and more. Read all about it on the post. The Android repository is made up of a collection of Git repositories, which are managed together using our repo tool. This means most tools can't see the source code the way that it's laid out when it's checked out on the system. We're now pleased to present a code search tool that presents a view of all the Android source code as you actually use it. You can now take advantage of features like viewing the source code, navigating cross-references across the entire code base, and switching between Android's open source branches. Check out the documentation to find out more. We recently announced that we're bringing Android API Level 29 with the performance and security updates of Android 10 to Android TV. We're excited to provide faster updates through Project Treble and more secure storage with encrypted user data. TLS 1.3 by default also brings better performance benefits and is up to date with the TLS standards. To make sure developers have the ability to build and test Android TV implementations on Android 10 prior to rollout, we're introducing a new developer-focused streaming media device called ADT3, which will be available to developers in the coming months. More details on the post. AutoML Natural Language is now generally available. It includes common machine learning tasks like classification, sentiment analysis, and entity extraction, and unlocks the most complex and challenging use cases, with support for 5,000 classification labels, training up to 1 million documents, and document size up to 10 megabytes. To learn more about AutoML Natural Language and the Natural Language API, check out the post. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. I'm Megan for The Developer Show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Yeah, there's actually an elephant party upstairs. <laughs> Just like stomping around up there.